Uh, now that winter is over and uh, you may be getting the urge to travel, well, you're not really sure what you can afford and where to go. Joining us today is travel expert and host of Globe Trotter TV, John Haggins. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'm so delighted. And, and look, we brought a beach just for you. Look behind you. <laughs> oh, so I love it. If I only love we could actually that? be on the beach. Can right? you feel the breeze? I can smell it. You can. Oh, you can even <laughs> smell it. You go down. Like All that. right, we're going to go Since through. the Rama. Yes, absolutely. We're going to go through eight of your top picks for locations, Wonderful. and then you're going to talk about it. And they include Cancun, Mexico, Disney, and Orlando, of course, Puerto Vallarta, Hilton Resort and Spa, Key West, Florida, heritage of Black Bahamian, Bahamians in Spanish culture, Spanish Cuban culture rather, Senegal, Africa, the uh, Azores Islands, Toronto, Canada. Salvador, uh, Brazil. Ooh, these all sound great. Ooh, okay, so let's get like started. Dessert. Let's start with Cancun. Cancun is fantastic. It's really a quick trip from America, from New York, anywhere. And what's great is that you don't have to get a package deal. You know, the all-inclusive, you can do, take the R1 bus, go downtown with the locals. You can have incredible meals for very little money. And that's a good feature of Cancun. All right, how about Disney? Disney is great if you book yourself in a resort outside of the property because you can save 50%, which is a great savings for a family, and you can cook in your own kitchen and save a lot of money on food. That's a great tip because it can be very expensive to go and stay on a Disney property. And no disrespect to the Disney properties, but if you're money conscious, that is a really absolutely, great tip. Absolutely. And I think today everybody's money conscious. Yeah, you know. you're right about that. Well, how about Puerto Vallarta, the Hilton Resort? And oh, that's dreamy. Look at your face. <laughs> So <laughs> After four days, uh, I didn't want to leave. Actually, I think I was there six days, and I needed four more days. I just felt like I was just beginning to fall into it. Everything it was all inclusive. You didn't. I didn't even go to the beach, which was right there. I was just relaxing by the pool, having my cocktails naturally, mm -hmm. and great lunch, great food. Everything is right there, you know. So, you know, it's a kind of vacation where you want to get away and do nothing. Oh, okay, and how is it different than Cancun, John? It's different in the sense that uh, Cancun, you feel like you want to get away from the hotel zone and you want to meet the people. In Puerto Vallarta, I felt that I wanted to just have a holiday in the hotel. So that was the difference, and it's a new hotel, so that really makes it very special. And, and still people, affordable? Very affordable, and every, it's service with a smile. Mm. What could be better than that? Very good. All right, what about Key West, Florida? Oh, that's fun. That's really <laughs> fun. I mean, it's just, you know, it's really great. I discovered that we have a great Bahamian culture there, and they were brought over, you know, many years ago, and you have the Cuban culture. So between the mix, you've got a nice thing going on, and there's a lot of spirit and everything going on there that is just absolutely incredible. It yeah. sounds like and they're calling yeah, you. And yeah. They want you to come down there. I think so, but I'm going to shut them up. Key West up. is calling you. Tell them to call back after the show. You know what? One of the cool things about Key West is it's still in the country. You don't need a passport to exactly. travel. But it feels like you've gone abroad. It's a party all the time. And that's what's so great. I mean, it's like, as that song goes, a party all the time, remember Eddie Murphy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so would you not recommend that one for the families that want to get away, direct them more to Disney, or do you see Key West as still a family destination or more of a couple's I think retreat? it's more of, I, I think it's more of a singles, uh, mm, okay. you know, because it's really a lot of adventure. I would say that Disney would be more of a family sure, situation. Sure. Also, you know, when you're going on some of the cruises, which could be really another great experience because, you know, the whole family's there, but you have to sort of watch what you're doing on those cruises. For instance, you can run up your bill by having going to the special restaurant. You can also run up your bill by the spa and gambling and all those other things. So you really have to watch that. And also when they start at like 395, forget that, you're in the bottom of the ship. You need to be at least a sixth floor and going up because then you have a terrace, you have a view, you're not in a little cubby hole. Okay, now I really love your next choice, but I don't know how you can save any money going here. To Senegal? A group. You go in a group ah. because there everything is done for you. You know, you get to see, you maximize your time and your money. And I think that's very important on any trip. And, you know, we're going back to our motherland. We're really, it's, a, it's an introduction to our motherland. It's only seven hours from New York. And I think it's really a, a perfect place to start in Africa. And you can get a direct flight from New York? Uh, not anymore. You okay. have to go through Europe. But the point is, once you're there, it's, you know, welcome brother, welcome sister. Mm. And you just feel, I felt my 
my center on my first trip and every time I've gone back and I think they have incredible memories there they remember everything I went back to a hotel he said welcome back Mr. John I thought what I haven't been here in three years <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta make you feel and special. it seems like the popularity of these group trips have just been taking off I've been hearing more and more from people that are making these longer trips these broad trips through the group to reduce the money oh spent. absolutely absolutely and everybody's so conscious of money yeah. today and I I think the fact that you get to to see more you know you go to go Gory Island, you get to see the President's Palace, you go to all the markets, you meet the people, you learn to haggle. That's a whole new thing, which we don't, no, normally don't do here, but haggling is really an art. And, uh, well, I don't know it about is that. a heart. <laughs> in no, New York it is City, you can do it. You, you can do it in <laughs> you New York, can do it in New York really, City. You can, first of all, you have to have the nerve to do it. I want to use a different word than nerve, but you really Quitzma. have to have some confidence. <laughs> Kutzma is another good one. Don't you? You have to have some confidence. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then walk away. You know, and then they want to sell it, so you, you know, they get you back. Always you know? got to be oh, ready to walk it. away. Yeah. The haggle. Yeah, right. it's wonderful. <laughs> All right, let's go to your next one, the Azores. Oh, nine islands in the middle of the Atlantic. What's so fantastic about that is the fact that, you know, it's something that we don't really know about. It's four hours from Boston and it's four hours from Europe, so it's really sitting in the center. And it's they're Portuguese islands, but what you can discover, you know, because the Portuguese is a part of the mm -hmm. slave trade, but you can really sort of get into their culture and learn about, you know, what's really going on. Learn to taste their food. Learn about the islands learn about all of this and you know it's just fantastic and you bring up a very good point because it's easy to go to any destination and go to the popular tourist spots right mm -hmm. but it can be a, a much more enriched experience when you when you experience the culture you know some of the history what are your recommendations for people to find out about those off the beaten path places to see when they go to a destination well they should meet the locals and the locals will take them there I'll give you an example to go back to Senegal for instance if you're buying a beer as a tourist it was 15 1500 safers if you went with a local it was 500 so that's the difference you really if you hang out first of all you have to open your heart open your mind and just learn to accept other cultures and I think that makes a difference in any travel experience absolutely and one one thing that I learned uh, also from someone else is talk to your cab driver oh talk Talk to the, the yeah. housekeeper that cleans your room. Right. Talk to the valet. They're the ones who really know the inside scoop. Exactly. And don't talk to the concierge because they're getting a kickback. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on to Toronto, our neighbors to the north. Oh, my God. They have the Carabana, which is amazing in August. And everyone comes out and full regalia you know they have their costumes and they do the booty dance and they do everything on the street it's unbelievable thousands of people the music is loud the, the vitality of the whole city and it's a beautiful city anyway but they also have a black culture it's like the end of the underground railroad I don't know if you know yeah, about yeah. that but sure, it's really yeah. it's really an amazing city and a walkable city which I think is fantastic yeah it's so beautiful all yeah. right last one Salvador Brazil oh, <laughs> yeah, I keep it's like going. we're sending you back <laughs> each one each I think you're back there already. Well, you know, they have Salvador, Brazil, or Bahia, Brazil, has the largest African population outside of Africa. So when you go there, you feel like you're in Africa, you know, because of the spirit. They still have their drums. They still have their uh, makumba, you know, all of that spiritual thing. I saw something very interesting where this German uh, television guy was holding the camera, and he got into the spirit and lost the camera. It was, <laughs> wow. you know, it was just, it's, it's, uh, it's magical. It's a rhythm that sort of goes from your feet to your head. It's just an amazing experience, and I think everyone should go down and experience, uh, you know, um, Salvador. If you could only pick one, which would be the one that you would recommend? Of all of these? Of all of these. That's a hard choice. Um, it's like I would, picking a favorite child. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I would probably go to Salvador, mm. you know, offhand, because I, I love Brazil, and Brazil was one of my first trips when I was 22. So that was a very special uh, place in my heart, and I feel that way each time that I go down. It's a, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, same question, different spin. If you have, if you have to really watch your money, which place is the best destination to get the most for your dollar? Uh, well, I would think probably going down to Cancun. Okay. And then uh, doing what I said, taking the R1 bus, going into town, and uh, having that experience with the locals. And speaking of which, where can people find the best deals and prices? Oh, cheap tickets. For instance, I use them quite often. Cheaptickets.com. Yeah, and Travelocity. Mm. And apparently, you can go there. I had an experience. Shall I give you an example? Sure. sure. Where I was in Tampa, and I was going over to Palm Beach, and uh, Delta wanted uh, $350 for the same trip. And I looked further, and for $57 on Spirit, I was able to go over. 
So you have to do a little research. And the internet is so amazing today. There's so much information and you can always, you know, you put in your date and your time when you want to leave and you make those adjustments. And if you're flexible, you can get great bargains. And also, uh, you know, I get all of these things in the mail because I'm in the travel business, but spirits sometimes have trips that are so unbelievably cheap. It's like taking a subway almost. Don, let me ask you this. Is it better to plan in advance to get a lower airfare or is it better to be ready to go at the spur of the moment? Because you know they all put out those last minute deals. I think it's best to plan in advance when you want to leave at a oh, sorry, if you want to leave at a very specific time. Otherwise, if you're flexible, you can do that last minute thing. Mm, that sounds so great. John yeah. Haggins, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. This has been such fun, and congratulations. Yeah, and, and welcome to the beach. Ah, thank <laughs> <That's> you. <right. laughs> I'll be peeling for the beach. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you.